Hi, this is Hodor Bino from Devil's Digest. I'm over here with first-year linebackers coach uh, A.J. Cooper. And A.J., uh, I know that uh, the theme of coming home has been uh, very prevalent in recruiting, but also with the coaching staff and somebody like yourself that uh, grew, up, uh, grew up in the Valley. I think played with Jason Jewell uh, back in uh, junior college. Uh, J Jason's a little bit older than me. He, uh, he's got a little more gray in the beard, but, yeah, we both were Glendale guys. I just I think I missed Jason by two years. Okay. And then uh, when, I, uh, when I started recruiting down here he was down at Glendale so yeah, yeah the, the man the myth the legend Jason Jewell <laughs> uh, roughly, roughly head coach by the way for, for those uh, at home but um your perception of Arizona State, you know, kind of from the outside looking in, uh, you know, uh, being in the Valley, uh, you know, you know, playing in the Valley, not for Arizona State, but just, you know, seeing it from little or far. Uh, what were your perceptions back then? How did it change now you're on the staff for about three weeks? Well, you got to realize I grew up, both my parents went to Arizona State. Um, my grandma's had season tickets for 35, I think, plus years. So I came up like I was a little kid. I was coming to Sun Double Games. I was at the, what that have been the 96 game uh, when they snapped Nebraska's one streak. Like, I, I grew up with those things. I had a good uh, high school friend of mine was Mike Nixon, who was a good player at Arizona State. So I, I'm not going to lie. I wanted to be a Sun Devil, and it didn't work out, and it didn't work out for a reason. I was blessed, and I, I went to North Dakota State, and had, it's led to me back to this point. So really excited to be back here, really excited to be working with a group of guys that really embodies and wants the Valley to be a huge part of Sun Devil football and getting the right young men, not just from the Valley, but from the state of Arizona, here at Arizona State, here at Tempe, to build something really special. Yeah, my wife is from Fargo, so I know about the Bison. Oh, hey. I know, I know about West Acres Mall and all that. <laughs> you also know about that cold too. That cold's and, and I love that place. I, I went to school there, but boy, that, those winters are cold, man. But that's a, it's a special place. It made me who I am. The opportunity, you know, Craig Bowl gave me an opportunity that when really just about nobody else did, and I'm forever grateful for that. Um, I met my wife there. She played basketball at North Dakota State. Um, we still have, uh, we have a lake place in western Minnesota, mm -hmm. so it's just, always have a special place, but this is home. You know, I'm from the Valley, and I can't tell you how excited and just blessed I am to be able to represent Arizona State. Would it be fair to say that not only just coming back to a place that's so familiar, but also uh, coming with Brian Ward? I mean, you, you know exactly what he expects from the linebackers, from the defensive scheme as a whole. That had to be a huge, huge part of your decision. Yeah, any anytime you're going into coaching and, and going into opportunities, and especially the new place you're looking at, the people around you, the cohesiveness, and obviously it, the, when a staff, how quickly the staff comes together, that will bleed into the players, right? The quicker we can all be on the same page with the core values, with the chemistry, with the uh, the culture with the expectations all those things the quicker the players are going to respond and see that as well does that make sense so knowing brian working with him back at 2010 in north dakota state and then him and i people don't realize this we've stayed in touch and probably he's been one of my closer friends in, in college coaching since that point so getting a chance to work with him again this last year and, and obviously here at arizona state is just an awesome deal and really fired up about it so I know that Brian likes to, to run a, a lot of a lot of four two five. So as a linebackers coach, when you have two linebackers, you know, on most snaps on the field, mm -hmm. easier, harder, or just really indifferent approach compared to like a traditional four three three. It's more about what those guys are going to be asked to do. Like those guys, everybody understands the quarterback is the leader of an offense. For our linebackers, they're the leader of the defense. They they need to make sure everybody's lined up correctly, that they're in the right checks from a run game and a passing standpoint. Uh, obviously, they need to be able to make plays in space and be physical physical in the box and so it's from a mental standpoint it's it's we need guys that love football like guys that eat breathe sleep football if that makes sense and I'm really excited about like Schaefer and McCullough and Soli because those guys coming back are experienced guys that played in the Pac-12 and from all indications and talking to them and seeing you know talking to our strength staff and everybody in the building is I'm hearing so much positive feedback about those guys I think and the rest of the group that it's going to be a really good way for us to start with the system. So you talk about just about leadership and, and being the heart of the defense. I mean, uh, you, you lost uh, two players due to uh, exhausting eligibility. Kyle Sole, I mean, ultimate captain, Merlin, Merlin Robinson, uh, you know, a proven veteran over here. Uh, so really, aside from the X's and O's, it sounds like you can put really a lot of emphasis on those guys like, like Sole and like Schaefer to not only be everyday starters, but just really be leaders of this team. Yeah, they're really standing on the shoulders of, of Sole and, and Merlin, and I've heard a ton of great things and, and about how those guys led through, through through some hard times, through some good times, and I really shout out to those guys because I've heard nothing but great things. And, and I see it when I when I met with those guys and I listened to the guys that are returning speak. Uh, you know, you can tell that they were mentored and led by good men. And so I, I'm really fortunate to be able to step into that. You know, and I think and my hope is that will help us maybe accelerate and focus on some other areas of their development. 
I know that uh, there are some positions uh, that also needed a lot of help in the transfer portal from the high school ranks, but and linebackers is definitely one of them. Like we talked about those losses. Um, what uh, What's your approach? I mean, are you really trying not to shove everything uh, you know down their throat just because you have so many new pieces, even though this is a new scheme for everybody? Are you, are you talking about as far as like uh, um, teaching the system? Or okay, uh, you know, it's like building a house. You got to build a grout great foundation i mean the first thing we're going to talk about is their stance and where their eyes at and 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 what their footwork's going to be like does that make sense like we will get into the notes and bolts but i'll be honest before you get to that they don't care how much i know until they know how much i care does that make sense and getting to know them on a personal level what their dreams or goals or aspirations are what their background is you know i reached out to all of them right away when i got here i got to meet with most of them before they took off for for the holiday break and really just digging inside of them and vice versa showing them who we are, why why I coach, my family, all those different things, because you can draw up any scheme in the world, but if those kids don't believe that you care about them, it doesn't matter. You know what I mean? And, and in my history of coaching, I, I'd like to think the best thing I've done and why I've, I've been blessed to coach some really good players, those kids know who I am and what I'm about and, and how much I care for those guys. And, and I think that's why I've been, been blessed to be able to develop and work with some really good players. AJ, thank you very much. Happy holidays to you and your family. Thank you. And for AJ Cooper, this is Hoda Rubino reporting for Devil's Digest.